Good afternoon and welcome to this, our last day of our novena to Good Saint Anne. Let us join in the pilgrim's prayer to Good Saint Anne. O oh, Good Saint Anne, you are a woman of incredible faith. In your life, you always trusted in God and received the strength that you needed. So I come before you today to ask for your intercession. When I am afraid, help me to trust in the Lord. He invites me to fear not, but to have faith in the face of tribulation. He is my hope in the time of trial. Dear Grandmother of St. Anne, you remind me that all things are possible with God. So I place myself in your arms and I entrust to your loving care of my family members, loved ones, and all those I care about. May God's grace help me conquer my fears and grow in my faith every day. Amen. Please be seated as we pray our chaplet to good Saint Anne. In honor of Jesus, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anne, pray, pray for, for us. us. In honor of Mary, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anne. Pray for us. In honor of Saint Anne, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Anne. Pray for us. Our litany of Saint Anne. For our daily bread. Saint Anne, pray for us. For comfortable shelter. Saint Anne, pray for us. For joyous companionship. Saint Anne, pray for us. In our temptations. Saint Anne, pray for us. In our troubles. Saint Anne, pray for us. In our sufferings. Saint Anne, pray for us. In our good deeds. Saint Anne, pray for us. In our weaknesses. Saint Anne, pray for us. In the hours of danger. Saint Anne, pray for us. In the hour of death. Saint Anne, pray for us. For our families. Saint Anne, pray for us. For our friends. Saint Anne, pray for us. For our enemies. Saint Anne, pray for us. For our church. Saint Anne, pray for us. For those in need. Saint Anne, pray for us. For those who have no one to pray for them. Saint Anne, pray for us. Our prayer for the sick together. Good Saint Anne, your grandson Jesus, accepted suffering to share with us the virtue of patience in human illness. May your kind intercession offer healing for our sick brothers and sisters, comfort for all who suffer, courage for all who are afraid, hope for all who are afflicted, and trust that they have become chosen to be saints and are joined to Jesus in his suffering for the salvation of the world. Amen. Our petitions to St. Anne. For Pope Francis, Archbishop Salvatore, Father Daniel and all the church leaders faced with the challenges of this pandemic, God help them to creatively imagine how to pastor their congregants and to love their flock. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and infected, God heal and help, sustain bodies and spirits, contain the spread of infection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all vulnerable population, God protect our grandparents and all elderly and those suffering from chronic disease, provide for the poor, especially the uninsured. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the young and the strong, God give them the necessary caution to keep them from unwittingly spreading this disease, inspire them to help. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our local, state, and federal governments, God help our elected officials as they allocate the necessary resources for combating this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For frontline health care workers, we thank you for their vocation, vocational call to serve. Keep them safe and healthy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially those who have fallen ill to COVID-19, may God grant them eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And our daily Meditation for our ninth day, today, July 26, strong in the faith of tribulation. Together, let us pray today for the people who, due to the pandemic, are starting to have economic problems as they cannot work, and all this has an effect on the family. Let us pray for people who have lost their jobs or businesses. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's gospel, Jesus tells us that our eyes are blessed because of what they see. Our ears are blessed because of what they hear. In times past, the prophets and righteous didn't get to see what it is that we see. They didn't get to hear what we hear. Joachim and Anne began a new era. What did Joachim and Anne see? What did Joachim and Anne hear? Joachim and Anne were blessed because they could see Jesus. 
Joachim and Anne were blessed because they could hear Jesus. Our eyes are blessed because we see Jesus. Our ears are blessed because we hear Jesus. These past nine days of our novena, we have been reflecting on Pope Francis's book for the pandemic, Strong in the Face of Tribulation, the Church in Communion, a sure support in time of trial. We certainly are facing tribulation. These past few months, our faith has been sorely tested in the midst of this coronavirus pandemic. We have been forced to stay at home. We have dealt with the fear of catching the virus. We have not been able to visit our loved ones. Our economy is crumbling and many people have lost their jobs. Here in Los Angeles at St. Mary's, we have a food bank. On an average month pre-coronavirus, we served maybe 30 families in a, in a month. This past weekend, we served over 400 families. 400 families in a single week. People have lost their lives. I know of 11 redemptorists who have lost their lives during this virus. One of our priests, Father Don Kirshner in Houston. We have celebrated countless funerals here in our parish. During this pandemic, the saddest thing, the thing that has touched my heart the most, is the stories of people who had to say goodbye to a loved one from behind a closed glass door, or by FaceTime, or on telephone. We truly are in a time of trial. We are facing a great tribulation, and the truth is we don't know how it will end. How can we continue? What is it that gives us strength? It is because we see Jesus. It is because we hear Jesus that we are able to continue. Jesus is the one who gives us strength in time of trial. We know little about the lives of St. Anne and Joachim, but we know much about the life in Galilee at the time of Jesus. We know that Israel was an occupied territory, and the people were greatly oppressed by the Romans. There was little freedom and much suffering and hardship. We know that there wasn't much in terms of medical care in the time of Anne and Joachim. And we can rightly wonder, how did people survive? We know the answer for Joachim and Anne. They were able to survive because they could see Jesus. They made it to another day because they could hear Jesus. That is what Anne and Joachim teach us, especially in time of trial and tribulation. We survive because we hear Jesus. We make it to tomorrow because we know we will see Jesus. In order for us to see Jesus, we must be people of faith. To be able to hear Jesus in the midst of this pandemic, we must be men and women who believe. Writing on prayer, Pope Francis says that there are three things necessary for true prayer. The first is faith. Jesus says that everything is possible for those who have faith. Praying with faith means that there is more than just a mere habit. Faith is not just a mere mouthing of words. Prayer doesn't come from the lips, but it comes from the heart. When we pray with faith, we pray with an awareness that God is present. This is easier when we are able to gather in the church, but we know that God is bigger than a mere building. If we are to pray, we must be men and women of faith. We can be sure that Anne and Joachim were faith-filled people. The second condition of prayer, according to Pope Francis, is perseverance. Praying isn't asking for something once and then getting angry when we don't get what we want or mad that our prayer isn't exactly answered exactly as we wanted it to be. The Gospels talk of the perseverance of asking. We knock and knock and knock and knock again. The Lord makes us wait. We certainly know this today in the midst of this pandemic. We are knocking and knocking, asking and asking that the Lord take this virus away. But the Lord is making us wait. Jesus doesn't do this because he wants to make himself sought after, nor does he do it because he wants us to suffer. No, Jesus wants us to persevere for our own good. We keep knocking so that we will eventually, we keep knocking not so that we will change Jesus' mind. No, we keep knocking so that Jesus can change our minds. Where there is perseverance, there is faith. 
Francis says the third part of prayer is courage. It takes real courage to be a person of prayer. Moses had courage when he asked God to destroy, not to destroy his people. Abraham had courage when he negotiated the salvation of Sodom. When we turn to God, we turn to God in fear and respect, but also with a deep courage. We have a deep courage that he will listen to us. Remembering that listening is not the same as doing. God can and will certainly turn us down. To be a person of prayer does not mean that we will always get what we want. I should say God, not that God would turn us down, but that God doesn't always give us exactly what it is that we want. Faith, perseverance, and courage. During the time of pandemic, when we rightly wonder when and how this will end, it is necessary to pray and pray more. Pope Francis says that this is how we have to pray, with faith that the Lord can intervene, with perseverance and courage. The Lord will not let us down. He does not disappoint. We may have to wait. God does things in God's own time, but God never disappoints. Faith, perseverance, and courage. These are trying times. We will survive because we are a church in communion. Our faith offers us support in time of trial. We are strong in the face of tribulation. Let us pray for one another. Let us pray that we will meet again at the 104th Novena of Good St. Anne. Good St. Anne, pray for us.